Always. I miss rice, bro. That's what yeah. I miss. I miss rice. You miss rice, yeah. Now, basmati, everything. Comes. It's mad. <laughs> big up, man. Love. Love, man. All right. Three Pointers TV. Myself, the T's. Big up, Marty. I've got Charlie with me here. What was the score, man? Two all. I'm, I'm pissed off, man. I mean, how do you feel about that, Marty, man? About really, that really disappointed. I feel like it was very... We played a, a great first 30 minutes, 35 minutes. And it was very lacklustre. And then, and then for the rest of the game, we were we were pretty poor. Last 10 minutes, we give it a bit. I think he start, started obviously wrong with uh, Vieira. Mm. He's more of a silky player and, uh, you know, he doesn't suit that type of game. That's always going to be a physical game. I've never, ever watch the North London derby that's not a physical game it always goes that way always and Havertz is your man and, and since he came on Havertz, play, Havertz played well we had a chance but you would like to think he, he puts that away but it was it was really disappointing and to concede to, to score the goals and go 1-0 up and then concede straight away and then you know and then do it 2-1 up and literally two minutes later Son puts it in the back of the net mm. and it's disappointing it's, te it's, it's, it's not we seem to Look, forget though, uh, Mighty Jesus could have made it. Two, he could have yeah, probably could, killed the game. Yeah, Eddie, early. So Eddie and Ketia should have squared that ball. Fabio Vieira is in acres of space. He puts that ball into him. You you, you bet your house on it. it that bit hit in the back of the net. And then literally, I think two minutes after that, Jesus uh, dispossesses Madison and and blazes it over the bar. That that at that mm. point in the game, I think we was one 0 up at that time. That takes it to you know. Let's say those chances happen. Um, that's three 0 It's a different game, mm. and I think they fold. But to think that we're going to go on and play like that against a Man City or even a Liverpool, Liverpool are looking really good at the minute. Uh, we, we'll get, you know, it's just not, it's, it's not the levels. I was really upbeat about it before the game. Obviously, after that PSV performance, that was phenomenal. Yeah, but it's, it's, brilliant. it's the difference between teams like Man City and other teams. And I'll put ourselves into that category at the moment. Is the consistency? Consistency is key in all areas of life let alone Premier League football mm. where you need to consistently perform and you know iron out these flat spots throughout games keep the level of intensity there was periods of that game and this is a North London derby where you need intensity constantly and, and, and I just didn't see it at times I, I just really didn't so my, uh, I have to ask you man don't, don't you think David Rea soaked up a lot of pressure. I don't think he. I, I don't think for, for Tottenham first. I don't, I don't think he soaked up, soaked up and caused caused drama. His distribution was poor. Yes, his distribution was poor. It's certainly what not I'd expect from David Ryan. It was nothing like the other night, and it was nothing like the Everton game. So whether he's got after two games comfortable, that is the wrong thing. And if Arteta needs to make that change, he'll make that change and put Ramsdale. In. And this might be what the, the competing's about because that distribution could have changed things. But listen, I, one thing I will say, and I don't care what anyone says, he made a top draw save. He was. He was completely the other side of the mm. goal, and he's run across the goal, and he's he's fished he's fished it out the bottom corner. Mm. Uh, it was it was at lightning speed. I watched it. It was right in front of me, and it was an awesome save. There are a couple of other saves as well that he made, which I think he handled very well. But yeah, his distribution was poor. I don't think you know he's very good with his feet, but the actual kicking and, and deliverance of the ball was poor and not up mm. to not up to scratch at all. Charlie, man, let's go over to you, man. Yes. You, you was at the game, so... Um, yeah, um, disappointing, to be honest with you. I mean, I thought we had it in the bag. Um, going into the game, because when you talked to me earlier, I thought um, it was going to be a 3-0. Mm. I would have stood by it. We could have had four or five um, goals today. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, yeah um, Pat Rice had to come off, didn't he, like, with a... Pat Rice? Um, <laughs> Pat yeah, Rice. Like you're going back so, in the 70s, see, mate. See, this is it. This, yeah, is, this is what happens when... Pat Rice, you know. He's so upset. He's so upset. He's got a baby boy. Yeah. Where, where yeah, him there? Yeah, yeah, Declan, <laughs> um, obviously, he had a strain. He had a strain. He had a strain. He had a car strain. And then, strain, yeah. another worrying thing as well, Saka was limping. I think he was limping yeah. for at least maybe 10, 15 minutes mm. before they took him off. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's over, um, but hopefully it's nothing serious. But yeah, getting back to um, how we finished up, disappointing. Um, I thought. Um, what I sort of things did you think? You know that that sort of frustrated you during the course of the game. Obviously, just with the way that we scored a penalty, you went to yeah, one but it's up. Yeah, the same thing. Then, what um, was it? Um, we've gotten better, but our finishing. You know right. what I mean? Not I, clinical enough. And we were supposed to be fucking top tier fucking team, and yeah, not saying we're not, but. You know, when you're going against people like fucking was it, um, City or playing people like um, Liverpool or whatever yeah. else, when you get them chances, you don't put them away. You're going to get punished every right. single game. That's and when you're right. going to get punished every game. So mm. we, we had two, maybe three clear chances with, um, was it Nketiah and, and um, two with um, Jesus. I mean, these things happen still, but at the end of the day, 
we got punished, you know what I mean? But we, we lost the point. We, could, we should have been three points clear today. We should have fucking taken away three points from it. Yeah, I'm kind of frustrated with it. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously it's a draw. Mm. The whole stadium was expecting to win because when they blew that final whistle or whatever else, I mean, no one was angry, no one was booing or whatever, but yeah. I think we was all expecting three points. But take nothing away from Tottenham, I mean, they gave us a good game. Yeah, fair take enough, fair, I mean. fair play. Marty, um, do you, can, can you see sort of uh, Aaron, Aaron Ramsdale coming back in? It's a potentially, I can. Potentially, I can, yeah. <laughs> um, one thing I just want to say on what Charlie said was this is the difference in levels of expectancy. Uh, at the end of the game, exactly like you said, uh, we were we were disappointed. Everyone, the Arsenal fans, were sat there disappointed. All the Tottenham fans were celebrating like they won yeah, the fucking yeah. Champions League. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I was like, "Are you actually serious? You've drawn." I mean, look, it's a, it, obviously it's a, it's a good point. You know, they probably expected realistically to get battered uh, like they do usually everywhere they go. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I, I, and, and, I, and that's it. But I, I think Saka for me was immense today. Saka, that's yeah, the best, I, play, best it, I've seen yeah. Saka play in in ages. He was his work rate was unbelievable. Jorginho messing around. With the ball, and I think mm. I saw a lot of that getting dispossessed like that. You'd never, you never see that for Jorginho, and he gets dispossessed, and the ball ends up in the back of the net. Do you, it's just, do you think that's due to him being out with Pochettino last week, like just hanging around with him? <laughs> 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 oh mate, <laughs> um, I just, I just, you know, and just some, some of the performance. I think Sinchenko in the first half as well. If I'm honest with you, he was slightly poor, and so, some of the just giving the ball away and stuff. It was we just, the ball it was just cheap. Time, it was, it yeah. was just, just giving the ball away cheap. It's not what I expect from this Arsenal team. But it looked that, that team that played on Wednesday night was a million miles, and I thought they would have got up for this Tottenham game first more time, yeah. uh, and, and had a level of intensity. But you know, they, they were just so at times, as I say, they were flat at times, and um, the. Uh, you know the, the game on Wednesday we just played a million times better and that's yeah. it it's not you know those sorts of performances you're going to get punished you know and it's a matter of time if we keep thinking we're going to turn up like that in the yeah, Premier League real. we're going to get punished and we're going to lose games no. we've got Brentford we're going away right. to Brentford on Wednesday night right. um, and Wednesday you know night, I'll okay. be honest with you the goalkeeper situation for me Ram, uh, Raya didn't make any clear errors to get you know to, to lose his position I think playing Raya against Brentford is a good idea I do, I do just because it's his old club he might have a point to prove and I think let's see how he bounces back let's see if he sorts his distribution mm -hmm. and if he doesn't sort his distribution get Ramsdale straight back in and and, 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 and I think I think for me that's what I would do what, what would you say to that Charlie? Um, I think it's what it's, um, the conversation we had earlier what you're saying about um, there's a slight bit of arrogance around um, was it um, Reyes um, play today yeah. Yeah. You know, and yeah um, Will knew or well, know he's pretty decent with mm. his uh, footwork I mean, yeah. he can he can pass the ball he was, respectively, he was but the land today to, he was suck, he was bringing them so I was like too much Jesus you know what I mean yeah it was he too was much. so confident he weren't panicking but I'm like yeah how close do you want him to get yeah I, <laughs> do mean, you know what I mean but you think you bring that pressure onto yourself yeah. you bring pressure onto the team and um, there's a couple of times where he got really lucky I mean they gave um, a foul. Mm. The, the, um, yeah, that's right. Right, that exactly. Yeah, but we got. You know I mean, we got away with one. You know what I mean, but, but it's, it's so similar to what how Ramsdale was was behaving as well at times. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. just. But sometimes, like you say, it's the decision making. Yeah. You know what I mean, some of the decision making, it's kind of like just get with the ball early, or if you ain't sure, pick the ball up and hold it. Yeah. So you know so I mean? so yeah, we got Brentford. You said midweek, might yeah, yeah. Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday night. Right. Um, how, do you, how do you see that going just quickly? Look, if, if we don't go and get three points there, there's, there's some serious problems because Brentford right. ain't, ain't... It's a three point game. Yeah, 100% no, listen, right. if, you, if you're three three challenging points. for Premier League titles, you need to go away to Brentford and smash them. It's as simple as that. You need to get three points, you need to beat them. And I don't, uh, I, there's, there's no other way around that. Brentford aren't exactly performing too well at the moment because we need their goalkeeper. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> it's, it's an ideal opportunity. <laughs> it's an ideal opportunity to put them to the sword and, 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 and rectify this situation and get some more points on the board. But would you put right. Brentford in for this game? For against, uh, would, would, not put, would you put Raya in against his old club? I would, yeah, definitely. I, 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 th I think, I, I think, generally, top top players will get up against their own clubs and, and, and make a point. And if he doesn't, I think this is it. This will be the decider. If he has a bad game, his, right. his distribution's bad, or, or he buckles at Brentford. Ramsdale's got to go straight back in, 100%, without a doubt. I, I, that's, the, that's the way I see it personally. But listen, Mikel Arteta. Listen, he brought two keepers doing. to actually sort of bring competition. And after that game, I don't think um, 
Ryan needs to go there with any pressure on himself. No, I no. think um, Rams don't go. I think no, there's pressure every day. I think there's pressure every game, and this is this is the pressure that will test him. And yeah. not being funny, if he folds, listen. Today was a but test. This for him. is why. This, this is a North London derby. Was that was like a that, baptism yeah. for him. That yeah, was a baptism for definitely. him. And I think it'll, he might look at it differently next time because the confidence was maybe... It's great to have that amount of confidence, but this derby, the pressure that was going to exactly. put on... Exactly, and I think Ramsdale, he's, been there he's, he's, I mean. he's the better player because he's, he's won in the North London derby. He's been I mean? there before, so, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's, so, been, he's, he's played know. these games. He's I mean? lost yeah. in North London derbies as well. Well, Let's be honest. All right, all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, well, yes. the last two, the last two, you know, he's won them. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, granted, you know, granted. But yeah. you know, you, you've got to listen. This is this is with players. You've got to test them out. What's the point in buying a player? I mean, let's let's be honest. There's no point in buying David Raya to leave him sitting on the bench. No, there's not. No. You, you you know, it's like there's no point buying any. With Fabio Vieira last season, we tried him out. You know, and and we didn't just try him out once or twice. We tried him out numerous times. Mm. You know, it's like Smith Rowe now. Smith Rowe's getting his opportunity. Party's injured, and it looks like Declan Rice. I don't know if he's going to be out for you know midweek. But these players are now you know starting to get opportunities. Reese Nelson came on. He's you know another opportunity, and you know that's that's what the depth of the squad's about. You're going to pick up injuries, like mm. you know you you look at the team. You know Trossard's out today. Martinelli's out. So you know we're picking up injuries, but that that's the thing. I think at the beginning of the season. People think, oh, well, where's this player going to put, you know, we've got too many players in this position. But actually, if you look at realistic, that was always been our point. And that was definitely our point at the end of last season. There's zero depth. Mm. Uh, and, and there wasn't the, the like for like replacements or the quality replacements. All right. All right, then, guys. Thank you for your contributions. That was it, man. Three points TV, man. Um, Arsenal, we got held today. Let's see how we get on with the next one. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe to the thing. Peace out. We'll see you on the next one. Come on, peeps. What were you waiting for? Like, share, subscribe to the free pointers.